I'm Katarina Petrovic. I'm a Serbian born, the Netherlands based artist and researcher. How, how do you translate a, a, a sensorial experience to another person? How do you how do you say it or how do you make a setup where another person can feel that? So you again need to think about how do you translate? So basically I could say that my practice lays in the field of art science. I am interested in language, how we, uh, well, the generative properties of language, everything that we can say and what we cannot say in language, the very structure of it. So I work a lot with concepts such as uh, nothing or zero or infinity. And on the other hand, I'm interested in the physical processes that come close to these concepts, such as vacuum or perfect vacuum or, um, or quantum fluctuations or electromagnetic radiation and a lot of other processes and yeah. It's a very modern idea to think that things speak to us, that we can go and hear what a plant is saying or what uh, electromagnetic radiation from Jupiter is saying or, or you name it. And so it is quite a human-centered idea that things speak. And this is kind of the paradox that I'm playing with. So. Could quantum fluctuations and particle emotions be translated into human language? And in effect, that's what we're trying to do when we're creating mathematical formulas. It's just a different language. So I'm thinking if we can do it in mathematics, why are we not trying to have universe write poetry instead? I think it's really important that you have a feeling that you're playing and that you don't have a feeling like you're making something really important because then you never make anything. Uh, uh, the meaning comes later. So you spend your time chasing something uh, and finally when you get to form it into any kind of representation for the other uh, and once it gets accepted, once it gets perceived by other people, then you kind of get the meaning of what you were doing. You, you, you might after a while, if you do this for a long time, you will start having the sense of meaning in your work while you are doing the work. But that's not how you begin. I start feeling stuck when I take science too seriously. That's when I start feeling stuck. The, the fact that there is this embedded idea that there can be a key to the universe, no? And many scientists ha have made remarkable discoveries with this axiom uh, in their mind. But, but we could be more creative or more inventive and think in other ways of the same, in the sa of the same problems. I, I was just such a nerd that to me, just whatever captured my attention being, be, mathematics or painting or going out and spending nights dancing, it m made no difference. So I did it all. 